Hey Siri, business task. Business task. Complete training on task management system. Okay. Boom. So that's how cool this task management system can be. And in this video, we're gonna go into exactly how to set up version one of your task management system. And what we're gonna do here is build it out from scratch together. So stick with me today and you will have a task management system that will save you time. If you have team members, you can delegate super easily and you'll know exactly what the most important things are <clears throat> to complete each day. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you are new to Airtable, this is what it looks like when you first enter a new base. And we have three sections here inside of Airtable. We have data, automations, and interfaces. How you can think about it is data is like a Google Excel sheet or spreadsheet. And then automations is how you connect it with things like Siri, things like uh, Slack and Google Calendar and so many other things. And then interfaces is where you optimize your workflow and also your data visualization. It's how you turn the data in here into information to make decisions. So <clears throat> this video will probably be about 15 minutes and we're gonna set up the data side and the interface side in this video. Um, so you have a pretty badass task manager and also you can set it up for your team as well, invite them to this base, and then you can plug them in and delegate tasks very easily. Now I've used ClickUp, I've used Asana, I've used Monday. Nothing compares to Airtable when it comes to uh, everything. It's so customizable to exactly what you need. Now there's like a two week learning curve to it. And uh, I learned everything off YouTube videos and I've put over a thousand hours in and have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into our systems. But <clears throat> you can get started from these videos that we have here and also in the seven figure entrepreneur community if you wanna check that out more. So now without further ado, let's get into it. When I'm starting in a new base, I typically delete these out. So if you wanna work alongside me, pull up your own base, um, then you can do that. I take those out initially because I want to start from ground zero and I want to name the first column here. So I hit the carrot up there. If you're on a Mac, you can hit control command spacebar and add emojis. And we're just going to add a pin right here for tasks. And that will be the name of the task. Boom, right there. We'll use a single line text, but there's so many other things that you can use here and we'll use single line text. And what we wanna go into next is, let's put in the time. So how long is this actually going to take? And there's a duration field that you can use that will add up the time for you. And then what we wanna do here is add in, let's put a rocket for the status. Now the statuses that I like to use are this is overdue and this is what we wanna see at the top. So immediately we can see what is overdue. And then what I also like to do is put in top three today, perfect. And why I like to do that is because if I'm just focused on three of the most important things every single day that move the needle forward, I am much more likely to uh, get the most done. If I'm just focused on three things every single day and it's sectioned in a way that I know those are the three things, you will see your productivity skyrocket if you just focus on three core things every single day. And then what we wanna put in here, I like to put a pin in for today's tasks. And then I put a rocket in for in progress 
This is kind of just to capture everything that I'm currently working on that isn't due today. And then what I also like is a star for upcoming. Boom, put that in there. And there are some other things that you can put in here like ideas and notes that I like to section off. Um, just if I wanna make a quick note or something like that, or if I have a new idea that I wanna go back to, but we're just gonna do those core ones today. Hit create field. Then the next section, date, uh, calendar, date, boom. And then we can look up the date field. We'll move that over here. <clears throat> and let's look at my base, see urgency, impact, status. We can tie it to key results, initiatives, client tasks. And what we really want is who's responsible, when was it created, who was it created by, and when was it created. So let's add those in there here. Boom. Responsible. And we want to use a user field right here. Perfect. And then we want to say created by. And this will automatically upload who created it if we use the created by field. Boom. And you'll see my face in there. And then <clears throat> What we also want to do, let's see, create a date. Let's use the computer emoji. Boom. Created date. Boom. And we want to grab that and use created time and unselect time included there unless you really want it, right? And now in terms of anything project management urgency, Let's see what emojis we used for urgency. Urgency and impact. So we're gonna put an alarm here. Urgency. Urgency. Uh, and I'm gonna put a single line text, but you're gonna use a single select just to speed this up. And then rocket impact. So this will help us identify what is the most urgent thing to do and what is the most impactful. So once you put this into your system, you'll know exactly what is actually going to move the needle forward the most in your life or in your business. So let's go back here. And I'm just going to copy this from my board and then plug it into here. But the different sections that you want for urgency or an impact are very high, high, medium, low, very low, right? So I'm going to do the same thing for impact. Boom. I've got those in there. <clears throat> so now we're going to move that over here and move this here, here. Here. And one last thing that we're going to want, right, is the description. So when you're delegating tasks, your employee knows exactly what to do. Boom. Let's move time over here. Let's make sure we got that set up. Due date, time, urgency, impact. Perfect. And then move that there. Who's responsible? Boom. Status details. And now, boom. Let's make sure we got that set up right. Status is going next to here. Perfect. So now I can delete these and put in a group function by status. So then example task number one, let's say the due date is today and it's going to take 10 minutes. And then the status is today and there are ways to automate that. 
and then responsible will be me and finish this task by boom i can put the description in and then we can do example task number two let's say the due date is the 17th and it's going to take 15 minutes it's high urgency medium impact and we'll put me in for that and this would be upcoming boom so then you have your task management system and there are ways to automate this to move it to today so i'll show you that in a second what we're going to do here is just call this tasks boom and what we can also do is duplicate this and call this Andrew's tasks and filter by responsible is Andrew. And then we can duplicate this, for example, add another emoji for AJ's tasks, boom. And then we want to filter up here by AJ. And you'll see nothing shows up here. So if I want to delegate this task to AJ, boom, I hit that, it drops out of my board, it goes into AJ's board. So pretty cool. So what I'm going to do here is just rename the label tasks, boom, done. And then we can set up some, uh, we'll name the table first task management board. There we go. And now we've got version one of that set up. So what we want to do now is go to automations and this, I wasn't planning on doing this, but this is kind of important to know. And this is so we can see um, overdue tasks and today tasks. So we're going to add a trigger and when record matches conditions, we're going to select the table, the task table, and the condition is going to be the date is uh, after today. Boom. And when that happens, we want to update the record and we're going to give it a description, overdue tasks, and put in the task board grab the Airtable record ID and <clears throat> then change the status to overdue. What we also want to do with the trigger is say when the status status is not complete. Oh, we have one more section to add in there. So let's go back here, go in here and move this check check complete boom now we got that so what we want to say in here is status is not complete perfect so that way we'll be able to see overdue tasks we're going to turn on the automation we're going to rename it x overdue tasks boom and then what we want to do is just duplicate this by hitting the three dots right there. And then we're going to say when date is today <clears throat> and status is not complete, boom. Then we are going to uh, do the same thing. Uh, is pin today's tasks Boom. and we want to move this to today so what it's saying is the date is today status is not complete then we want to move the task to today right so what we're going to do in here is pin today's tasks Boom. 
And what's really cool now with these Airtable automations that you can do so much with, like the Siri thing that I showed you at the beginning, um, is if I move this to this date, then it should show up as overdue. Eh, eh? Let's make sure the automation is set up. Date is after uh, this is overdue is after today. Status is not complete. Update it to overdue. Let's see if it moved, didn't move. So we're gonna play around with that. And while well, status changed. Okay, let's go here. Let's make sure that that automation is set up appropriately. Is when date is before update. There we go. Date is before today. And it's not complete should change to overdue. So let's play around with this example task number three. And let's move it to the 13th. And automation date is before today. Status is not complete. Then Move this to overdue. Update record to overdue. Should be working now. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Automatically moved. Whew. I was afraid I was gonna have to shoot this again. All right. So now we have the data, we have the automations, and now we can start building in interfaces here. So build an interface, boom. We can call this the tasks interface tasks. Boom. There we go. Next. I like to start from blank, finish. And now we got this beautiful interface. So what we can do here is add in the grid view. Boom. From here, I'm going to move my face. And then over on the right hand side, copy settings from view, and then hit tasks. And now we have that view from the data which is pretty cool. And this is all tasks. So the next thing that we want to do is, um, let's see, for all tasks, probably want to put a number in here. Boom. And we want to see how many are overdue. And we can do that by hitting specific records here. Add condition status is overdue. And then I'm going to duplicate this and move this to appearance. And then I'm going to put in an X overdue. Put in a red color for that. And then we're going to call this today's tasks. Um, Boom, pin today's task or today. Just do that, perfect. And then we can add in, let's put in progress. What we're gonna do here is move this around. Boom, and turn this to blue and call this star in progress. Perfect. And then what we can do is add a chart right here. Move this over. Perfect. 
And let's make sure that we don't forget to change the record condition here to in progress. Perfect, there are none there. And then what we could do is play around with this chart and see, um, go down here. And what we wanna see on the X axis is responsible. And we got me and we got AJ. And then we can group by status, boom, right here. And then we can see I have this many today's tasks. AJ has that many, uh, that many um, upcoming. And then we could give this overdue task to AJ right here, boom. And boom, there we go. So then we can see he has an overdue task, an upcoming task, all that stuff. It's just an example. There's so much you can do with uh, Airtable uh, data. And what I'm gonna do is put a t text up there. Team task overview down. Perfect. And then put a large right there, boom. So now we have an overview for all the tasks. One last thing that I wanna do is hit the expand button right here, allow it. And then we can expand records directly inside of Airtable. And I wanna make all of these editable. Boom. Perfect. And you can move all these things around as well. Perfect. So I want to put who's responsible and what's the status at the top. Maybe we want it right here. Perfect. Then maybe we also want the status right up there too. Perfect. So that looks good. We want to make this editable as well. Perfect. And now you've got an open view for your tasks. I'm going to X out of that. And then what I'm going to do here is hit publish to make sure that that's saved and look at this beautiful view we have of our tasks okay now the next step what we want to do is go up here to task management system um, edit go to pages over here and then what i want to do here is have this as tasks overview And then I want each of my team members to have a view as well. So I'm gonna duplicate this. And let's call this man Andrews tasks. Perfect. And then I'm going to delete these things. Actually, I'm gonna save them. But I wanna delete this. I wanna see today in progress, all of that. And another cool feature about Airtable is you can filter. So what we're gonna do is add the filter function at the top, and then we are going to connect it over here to all of the data that's set up. And then I'm gonna go over here to condition Boom, responsible, perfect, is Andrew, sweet. And then here are all my tasks. So when you're creating a new board for a new team member, all you need to do is change the filter function. Let me change this to man, go. Actually, I'm just gonna do a pin and call it my tasks. Perfect. And then what we can also do here is let's say we want to see the amount of time that's remaining today. Perfect. Time remaining. And I'm going to use purple right there. Go back to data field summary at the bottom and then time. And we want a sum of specific records today. 
So then this will add up all the time that is left today. So you can see, perfect. So you can see if you have enough time remaining on your calendar to uh, fix uh, or to complete all those tasks that day. So then we have our board for the tasks and we're gonna go back, duplicate this, boom. And we're going to put uh, right here, AJ's tasks. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is change the filter function right here. So we click on it, go over here, boom, AJ. Perfect. So there we go. Now you have your task management system. Um, and you have the automations, you learned automations, you learned how to fill out your data board and you filled out uh, the interfaces. So now you've got all that freaking nailed down and you're good to go. One of the simplest and best systems I've ever used for task delegation. Um, and there's some really awesome things that you can do on the automation side when it comes to reoccurring tasks and tying it to SOPs and all that. We don't have enough time to get into that in this video, but if you want to learn more, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel or come over to our seven figure entrepreneur community that will be linked uh, down below. But that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, give it a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.